This video is going to show you how to make your own track in the Energy Skate Park Simulator from the Colorado Fets. To begin with, we're going to click on the Track Playground. That's on the tab in the top right-hand choice. And where it says Tracks, um, that's where I'm going to get my tracks from. But before I do that, I'm going to get some reference points. So I'm going to click on Grid on the right. So I've got some reference points on the screen. And since I'm doing a lab activity, I'll click on the speedometer. And finally, just to make it more interesting, where it says Stick to Track, I'm going to turn that off. So my skateboarder can actually fall off my track. Then to make the track, I'll drag it down onto the screen from the yellow box at the top. And this has three control points, two endpoints in the middle. And by moving them around, I can adjust the shape of the track. So I'm clicking here, moving the points around. To make my track longer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another track piece and overlap the two end control points. There they are. Now I'll let go of the cursor, let go of the mouse, and now I'll drag the control points to where I want them. So here I'm dragging them to kind of sh change the shape of the track. And I'm going to add one more piece so I can show you something here. There we go. One more, whoops, one more piece. Drag it on top there. Now it's connected. Change the shape a little bit. You can see where I got the track crossing over itself. It's okay. The software remembers which piece you laid first. So this won't be a collision when the skateboarder goes around the, the track pieces. And I can still adjust everything. But let's say I made a mistake on this bottom control point. What I can do is I can right click or on a Mac control click the control point and it says delete control point. So um, when I select delete control point, it'll go away. Or maybe there's a middle piece that I want to get rid of. So I can right click on the middle piece, go down to where it says delete control point. And when I select delete control point, that'll go away. That'll help me to reshape my track. Then to run it, what I'll do is I'll pause the skateboarder. So I'm hitting pause at the bottom of the screen, move the skateboarder into place. Now remember, with the skateboarder, you can see exactly where the skateboarder is by this little orange dot underneath the skateboarder himself. So you can see the, what the exact height is. Here's a nice little reference point for figuring out all that information. So there's my skateboarder. I'm all ready to run it. Now what I'll do is I'll press play. By hitting pause first, it just makes it easier to get everything set up to begin with. So I'll press play. I can hit slow motion if I want to. And then I can pause and go one frame at a time if I need to.